This is the Maestro Bugatti Devo in 124th scale. <laughs> Aww. So when I came up with the idea to make this review, I decided to pick the crappiest car I own. So here it is. The Bugatti Devo by Maisto. Or Maisto, whatever you want to call it. So let's start off with all the opening parts. There you go. As you can see, the two doors open. And also the hood does open. Inside the hood, underneath, you don't really get an engine there. I don't, I mean, my sister's lazy as heck. Bleep that out. So they don't really care to use an extra two cents to put in an engine there, but you know, that's okay. We understand, right guys? So that's complete <laughs> All right, but enough complaining about that part. Uh, on the inside, it is pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. It is pretty nice. You can probably see it more so that on this side, uh, yeah, with a blue seat there, and the other one is actually a black seat on this side. Yeah, I mean, there's nice detailing here. Um, but let's get right back into this review! Quality-wise, it's not the best quality. Uh, this feels like absolute cheap plastic. Not even plastic. I don't know what the heck this is. That is not die cast, maesto, maesto. See how you can shake it around and feel the loose wheels? Um, that is not quality, maesto. What in the world is this? Well, tell me, what the f is this? I do like the stripe, the racing stripe going across the whole side, the blue one. That's pretty nice. I do like that. And uh, the body here is made out of, obviously, it's just plastic, but it has a carbon fiber texture. Um, so that's on the whole bottom, too. And then also in various spots around the body. You cannot open the engine, obviously, or else I would have mentioned that in the opening parts. The wing is made out of carbon fiber. Obviously, just cheap plastic again. The whole thing is cheap plastic. I don't know if I like that about it. Uh, you know, I don't really collect plastic models. It's more die cast. So, um, I mean, this, I, I know it's technically, it is technically a die cast model, but you know, it is basically plastic because <laughs> this quality is horrible. Die cast, if it, if it really is metal, it's, it's horrible. This here, this is uh, the carbon fiber texture on the mirrors here too. So there is a lot of carbon fiber to be found. You can get this for about $20, either in stores or online. Probably on Fairfield Collectibles for like $20, maybe, I don't know. Go f and check it out. I'm not here to, I'm not your city, I'm not here to do this stuff for you. Stop being lazy and go check it out yourself. The headlights, can you see that? Is it focused? The headlights are pretty detailed. I mean, not really. You can see the bulbs in there, and then, I don't know how it is on the real car, but, uh, I mean, it's okay. It's good quality. It's not painted on. I hate when headlights and rear lights are painted on. It's not painted on. So, uh, that's, that's really nice. It's a nice feature. Back here, I think on the real car, there's, like, black in between all the lights. Here's, the, here's a picture of the real car. And then here's the, the rear on the model. So, I mean, it's, it's passable. It looks good. Uh, one problem I do have here is the paint job. What is this? The French are taking over Bugatti. No. Yeah, this is uh, something I, I mean, that's a lazy feature there. Do you see that? The smudge paint. Here's what it looks like on the real Bugatti. And then here's what it looks like on the model Bugatti. A little bit smudged, probably not the best quality. I would probably give this like a four out of 10. Not the best um, if you're looking for a die cast model. Why are you sticking your nose in my butt? <laughs> but uh, you know, if you prefer plastic, I mean, this would be like a, a pretty heavy plastic model. I like it. I would recommend it to plastic model collectors. 
If you if you want if you're a high quality diecast collector, do not buy this. If you if you like the plastic feel like that, you can hear how cheap it is. If you like that feel, go ahead and buy it. That's all for now. See ya. Love you.